Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tiffany. So today I just, I thought it might be helpful um, for me to kind of go through what's going on in my planner and notebook world. And so I think that it's important to know, I think sometimes like when we're talking about lineups and plant and how we're planning, I think a lot of times like we're not really planning. We might be like archiving or memory keeping or journaling per se. Um, so I kind of have like a combination of both like sitting in this, in this, uh, in these multiple stacks on my desk. Um, Chewy decided he was, he wanted to participate in today's video. So yeah, I posted a video. This is Chewy, my, but this is my daughter's cat who has adopted me. Um, anyway, I posted a video like December 31st of like my planner system, right? Cause I call it a system because I feel like all of these kind of work in conjunction with one another, but they also serve like different purposes to me. And so I guess I can start with this little Mead notebook. I got this at Walmart. I really just, I liked the color of the, um, the cover here. So this is like just my random notebook. I, I was missing having a just cheap, janky notebook that I was, that I could keep in my purse that I could like write whatever in. Um, so, I mean, I went to a conference this week and I wrote notes in here that, um, you know, and contact info, uh, here's one about, um, cultivating professional resilience when you're, um, when you're in, um, a helping profession like social work or therapy or something like that. And I found this information to be helpful. Um, and I want to create, honestly, I would love to create a graphic like this to keep in my planner. I doodle, um, when I get bored, um, you know, grocery list. So uh, it, it's just a blank, a notebook to write, you know, random stuff in, um, who knows what the stuff is. There's no planning per se. You know, I'll put grocery lists in here. If I'm running errands, this is a good thing to have just to kind of note the errands I'm running. So I, yeah, I made that decision. Cause like I said, I used to keep, you know, before I got a little bit more quote unquote sophisticated with my planning, I kept notebooks um, everywhere. I'm, I'm a writer. Like I routine information when I write it. Um, and I also am a visual person in the sense that if I see it, um, and I'm writing it, it just, I routine things better. Um, and it just helps me kind of process through things in my brain. So that's new ish, I guess, but I like it. It's like, I think I paid two bucks for this little notebook. It was cute. Um, I thought of E, um, E, if you're watching this, I thought of you when I bought this notebook because I know green is your favorite color and like I've been gravitating to greens a lot lately. So that's, that's what's up. So this is in my purse. I pull it out like to like, um, I was like going through the house this morning, like making lunches and stuff. And I was like, Oh, we're running low on this stuff. So I probably need to, um, go to the grocery store. Hold on just a minute. Let me cut the slide. That might be a little bit better. Um, my lighting situation is not the greatest. But the sun is out today, which is fabulous because I haven't seen sunshine in a while. All right. So, then I've got a V6 allergy here. And I, I'm not going to share the contents of this. This is my journal, my diary, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I'll pin ephemera. Like, if I get happy mail, I put it in here. I journal my thoughts, my to-dos. Like, this is, like, just free-for-all long-form journaling. And... Dude, uh-uh, don't do that. He's trying to get, um, uh-uh, oh my goodness, Chewy. He's trying to get the pins out of my bulletin board. I don't want him to hurt himself. Um, but this is where a long form journal, I love writing in Stalogy paper with my fountain pens. So this is, I, I usually write in this like multiple times throughout the day. Like in the morning, I like to get up and just kind of process my thoughts. Like whatever is in this head of mine, I write it in paper. It may not be coherent sentences. It may just be lists. It may just be whatever, but I'm really enjoying like the process of, again, writing. Um, it's something that I didn't do a ton of in 2022. And I really wanted 
to get back to that. So that's kind of like how I'm using the B6 Stalogy. Um, and I like it. I really do. Um, I did add like a little pocket from Target Dollar Spot. Usually when school's about to start, they sell these. Um, I had some from a few years back. So I just have like some things if I want, like some ephemera, a journaling card. That's a freebie on my Instagram. You know, I tried watercoloring in here. Uh, so this uh, Stalogy paper definitely does not take watercolor as well as say, uh, Tomoe River paper, but I, I, like I said, I just, I've been enjoying this. It stays at home. I don't take it out, but in the morning time I sit at my kitchen table, drink my coffee after I've read one of my books or, or some of my book, I just, I start writing. Like I said, it just gives me a place to dump thoughts throughout, you know, throughout the day. And so as I have thoughts that I just kind of, that start getting muddled in my head, I kind of just take to this and put it on paper. So it's interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying that. So the Han, the Hobonichi Han, which I, I love this planner is, um, this cover. I, you know, I wanted to put it in a leather cover, but then I was like, I don't want to cover up this like beautiful artwork. Like it's just absolutely stunning again with the greens. I don't know what the deal is with me and greens this year, but I am really gravitating to this really beautiful green color. Um, so this is, so I initially I wanted this to be like my journal. I need to update this. Um, I use this tracker. I'm just noting my workouts because one of my major goals this year is to get healthier, develop better routines when it comes to exercising. And then if you see these little highlights, that's the days I went to the gym. Um, so I've been enjoying that. This has been so much fun. I'm doing like a sticker a day because one of my intentions for 2023 is to use up my sticker stash. So I just kind of write like a memory of the day and put a little sticker down. And I think this turned out cute. Now, here where I have these itty bitty boxes, I um, didn't use a sticker because there wasn't any room, but I really, this is fun. Like if you've got a bunch of stickers and you have a book where you can do this, a sticker a day is so much fun to me. So initially when I started with this, it was journaling. It was just journaling about my day, you know, again, decorating, making my pretty spreads because I find this to be enjoyable to me. Um, it's not, you know, I'm not planning. I wasn't planning per se in here, which is important to note. Um, yeah, I was having a rough day that day clearly, but it just, you know, gave me an opportunity to use stickers to journal about my day and stuff. But then I was sitting writing in this, getting thoughts out on paper. And I was like, why am I journaling so much? Like why, why am I not, why am I journaling so much? Why am I journaling in so many different places? And so I was like, I want to try using this as a daily planner instead of putting dailies in my personal rings and see how I like it. And almost do kind of like what, um, Helen from Coffee Monsters Co. does. I love her YouTube videos, by the way. Her voice, I just find it so calming. Um, so, using this timed column. Um, this was my first day using it. I didn't like using it as a schedule. And I had put up here some, like, priority. Or I was playing. This is what I thought about doing was putting my to-dos here, my schedule here, and then how the day went. Like, a little just quick summary of what we did in that day. So, it would serve as almost like a day. It, it was a daily planner but also a daily archive or memory plan. Um, and then, you know, like I got Happy Mail, um, some new inks. So I had swatched them. And then I was like, okay, Tiffany, you don't do schedules very well. <laughs> so why don't you just use this column as your to-do list, write your summary, and then just have fun and use your stickers and just, you know, make pretty spreads for you. Because for me, laying down washi, playing with stickers, writing is so therapeutic for me. So that's kind of where I shifted. Um, and I just used beautiful stickers. These beautiful stickers are for pen, paper, and plans. Used washi from uh, Paper Minty Studio. I have Planner Monkey Co. stuff. These checklist scripts are from V's Shop. And it was just, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've really been enjoying this. I have sticker books from Michaels, 
that I use to put like um, uplifting words, you know, and then usually at the bottom I'll put like notable things or things that are significant to me. That was the day the migraine took me out of this world, so I really couldn't, I didn't make it to do, I didn't do anything. So it's just, it's been nice. Ow, dude. Sorry, kitty put claws in me. Um, and so just, you know, playing with stickers, like just doing different types of spreads. It's just been really, I, I, I think it's exciting to like look back on this. Like even like turning the pages, I find enjoyment in looking back on, you know, what I did. Um, looking at all the pretty stuff that's in here. Did a sunflower theme here. These are V's um, washi. This is all V stuff. These are her stickers washi and that is also hers so and these are paper planner bliss um but yeah i just it's been so enjoyable for me so i liked this transition that i've made to breaking down my tasks on a daily basis and then just a quick little journaling blurb and that ends january um i haven't done very well for february i will go back honestly you guys and i will fill these in because again i'm going to revert back to you life has been crazy and <laughs> it's been crazy the past week um but i you know want to go back and write in here because i do want this to serve as like my memory keeper like what did i do this year um, so that's how I'm using the Hobonichi Han. I'm still enjoying it. Um, and I usually am in this daily. I haven't been since Wednesday from Wednesday to yesterday. Um, it's just been busy and I really haven't had a lot of free time. So then we can shift to my Hobonichi weeks. And I said, this was kind of like my me planner, my self care planner. I haven't done Jack for this week. So let's have a real you know, a real talk moment. I do weigh myself. This is my weight log. I'm not sharing my weight. <laughs> I'm really trying. Um, this is where I'm writing like a gratitude of the day. As you can see, I'm behind. I haven't done it and that's okay. It's okay to have blank spreads in your planner and it's okay for it not to be Instagram worthy or aesthetically pleasing as long as it is working for you. So I want to stress that. Um, but I, I kind of have like a highlighting system here where, you know, if I highlighted, um, if I put a green box around the, the day in the month, that means I went to the gym. And then if there's these brown highlights, it means I did an at home workout. I was writing just one thing in that day that made me feel joy or gratitude. Um, and then I started, so this planner starts in like the, the first week of December and I, I bought it because I loved this cover. Like I, I, you know, I had a different plan for on the go planning this year because I wanted something smaller and more compact. So I was just kind of playing around with different layouts. And then I started, see, I skipped a few weeks. I started just kind of like noting what were things that I did for myself in that day or what were things that were notable. And then I loved having this currently section where I was noting, you know, what I was reading, what I was listening to, what I was enjoying watching, what I was just enjoying overall in life that week. And then what was I, you know, currently working on. And then I was tracking workouts and my meals. Um, and I track my meals to ensure I'm eating because I skip meals and then I, yeah, it's, it's a whole, it's a problem. <laughs> so that is another intention I have for this year is to ensure that I'm eating my three meals a day. That's important to me. So this was another week spread. I had fun using fountain pens and whatnot and just whatever, using what I had in my stash. Um, that was like, the, I think the last, nope, not yet. So this was the next week. So just, yeah, and it was fun. Like, what did I do even like for self-care or to fill my cup or to recharge me or what made me happy in that day? I think it's awesome. And then that was last week's. I loved that ink color. So, and then I haven't done anything for this week. So I may skip it to be honest with you um, and just work on next week. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be okay with having blank spreads um, because I'll know like that was a busy week. I don't have time to do anything. Um, I haven't updated anything back here. I have a, a flip of my, uh, of this, like explaining this whole setup to you guys in my, um, I'll link it if you guys are interested, but I'm enjoying this, but I'm, 
not allowing myself to feel pressure to fill this in. I can jump in and out of this planner as I see fit. And that's kind of my viewpoint on this. So loving the weeks. And then let's talk about my passport TN that is currently housing my um, Moleskine. This is primarily in my purse, my purse planner. Um, so this is a 22, 23. This is the 18 month Moleskine. I bought this. It was on sale for like, I think 10 bucks. I used Sophie's code from Paper Planner Bliss or not code, her affiliate link to get this because I wanted to try it. I didn't realize like the Moleskine was going to be like the thing this year. I just wanted, I missed having um, a smaller notebook. So in comparison, my purse planner last year was the Hobonichi Leaks. So it's a, this is the pocket Moleskine is significantly more compact, which is what I was striving for when I got this. It, it's just something easy I can chunk in my purse. I don't have to carry a big long bag if I want to carry my weeks with me. I can just carry, this is so tiny and it fits in like my tiny crossbodies because I was also getting tired of carrying humongous bags. So I use this for just planning just planning in real time. I scribble stuff down. If I'm out and about and I think of to-dos, that's kind of how I'm doing this. Um, you know, plan my gym time, events, appointments, to-dos, that type of thing. And as you can see, I just, I fill it in as things come up. Um, I will pull this bad boy out. Like if I'm at, like when my daughter got her beauty walk dress, for example, you know, they were like, can you come back on this day to pick up the dress? And I pulled out my calendar and I was like, as of right now, I have nothing planned. Therefore, absolutely. And I just wrote it in right then and there. And so that's what I like having this. It's a good purse planner. And I have like our paydays in here, our events. I need to go through and fill in the activities, just that type of stuff. And then if, you know, I usually have a to buy and a to do list. So, and yeah. So that's, um, I, I did this. Look at me getting stuff done. And this was actually how I planned for this week because I couldn't muster up the energy to do anything else. It was a rough weekend. My daughter had the flu and strep and we had no idea until we took her to the doctor Monday. Um, so it was, you know, when your child is sick and continuously running fevers, you worry a good bit. And that was just my, you know, caring for my child was my priority. So my planning had to be, um, extremely simplistic this week. Uh, so that, that's, this is my weekly plan, uh, as of right now, but I do love the pocket mole scheme. And then I have this passport TN. Um, my husband actually gave this to me for Christmas. I've scratched it with my nails so many times. I love it. Um, but I have stamps, you know, my cards and insurance cards and all of that. And then these are the books that came uh, with this notebook. And I really, I didn't think. I, you know, and I eat my words now because I think in a previous video, I was like, I don't understand the hype behind Traveler's Notebooks. I kind of do now because I get it, especially with the passport. It's just a teeny tiny notebook, which I love. So what I'm doing is, and I need to move this tab over, is I decided to use this lined notebook as like where I'm noting my strength workouts because I kind of want to see if I'm getting stronger, if I'm increasing weight, that type of thing. So that's kind of how I decided to use this. And then I have an intentions list in here. It's kind of private, so I'm not going to share it. But, um, you know, I have goals for this year that I want to reach, but I also have intentions and things that I want to be constantly mindful of. So I have them written here so that I can see them regularly. Um, and then I have like these cute little stickers. I like this one, the writer. And then I have this one, Pace homage to uh Gilmore Girls and then it, I have like the, the little card thingy also has a zipper pocket and I have a Walmart receipt um and uh yeah it's kind of dirty because it is in my purse but it's you know it's so low cost that it's okay if it gets beat up and destroyed and all of that I'm, I want to make a pen loop to clip on here I just I haven't I need a I need some elastic so <laughs> to make me a pen loop um but I need to go, I would like to go to Michael's this weekend. So that might be something I do. But anyway, so that's how I use Passport TN. 
Um, I have, currently I have two work planners. So I, I've been using this happy planner, um, vertical. I can't show any of the contents in here. I was just going to show the, what it looks like. It's beat up. Um, it usually is in my work backpack. It has like my appointments, events for work and all of that. But what I was struggling with was just having a weekly planner and the vertical layout is I was really struggling with like a daily to-do list because, I'm a natural lister, so I feel more accomplished when I can actually list stuff. So, I actually, um, I showed it on my Instagram. I don't have it with me. It's in my backpack in my car. I'm not going out there to get it. It's cold. Um, but I bought this um, daily planner from Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble had, I went last weekend. Thank you, E. Shout out because she alerted me to the sale. Um, but they have their, a lot of their planners on sale, 75% off. And so they have this daily planner and it was an academic year. So it was July of 22 to June of 23. Um, and it, I think I got it for like seven bucks, but it was a daily planner where I could like put my like appointments, like my schedule. Cause I see, um, I provide therapy services to children. So I see children by appointment. So I could put my appointments in and then I could list out my to do's and note any notes as well. So, I have been really gravitating to that one. The only thing with the daily planner that I'm using for work is it doesn't have a monthly in it. So, I still need something that I can see, like, overall, like, what is going on this month. So, that's how I'm still using the happy planner. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's how I'm using this planner for work. I don't think this made it in my video for the third, uh, when I posted my system because this was at work because I set that boundary when I went on break. Um, and then we get to my personal rings and I, you know, my personal rings, I love my personal rings, but I'm using this a lot this year more for like, um, progress, like, uh, I guess reference information and also tracking goals. I hesitated. Um, so I did a flip of like this setup, like this current setup, it's on my YouTube channel. So I'll link it if you guys are interested in watching it. I love personal rings, but I'm also loving book bound. Like, you know, and that's, that's kind of what's trending, but I'm, personal rings is going nowhere. So that's not the cutest die cut. <laughs> um, so I did not weekly plan in here this week, but I typically do because I like for everything all encompassing, um, all the areas of my life minus work to be in here. So that's like kids activities, to do's, um, appointments for myself, uh, tasks for maintaining my home, that type of thing. I like it all to be in here. Um, whereas like my moleskin is just like appointments or, you know, events that we need to attend. So I'll be back in the swing of that. I have like a lot of home reference stuff, um, things for my children. Um, and then like my goals and I'm trying, and, and the thing that I'm learning about myself is I hold myself better accountable to my goals if I'm writing them because it's almost like I'm making a contract or some type of agreement with myself, um, which is why I'm writing them out. So to show you guys my goal progress, um, for this month, I did fairly well on the things that were like priority in my life. Um, and that was, you know, hitting the gym twice a week, working out three times a week. I did fairly good with that. I did manage to lose a pound, um, and then saving a hundred dollars to our emergency fund. That was a big priority. The only thing I didn't get done was decluttering my bedroom. And so, yeah, so I kind of set some more goals here. So I want to lose a pound and a half. I want to start um, adding an extra gym day in February. So hitting the gym three days a week. I want to declutter my bookshelf and I want to limit social media. I've noticed that if my hand, if my phone is in my hand, like I'm just looking chewy. Sorry, y'all. Um, I've noticed that if my phone is in my hand, I just like open a social media app and I'm, it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm trying to like keep my phone in a separate room, just being more mindful of like my time, um, and how I'm spending it. And then as far as like my weekly tasks, weighing in, self-care, date night, and watercolor. I want to watercolor at least once a week, preferably twice a week. Um, and then honestly, I want to, um, I want to hit 10K steps 80% of the time. So I'm going to add that here. This is a long video. I'm sorry, guys. And that, that's a, um, this is me verbally processing through my system. 
So the way I can track that is that's where my Hobonichi Weeks comes in where I'm highlighting the days because I can know like, okay, yeah, I did, you know, 75% of the time go to the gym three days a week. Um, so it is measurable. Um, it's the same with my workouts if I wanted to do it that way. So I need to write in my workout from yesterday. I haven't gotten to that. But also um, for me to track my, and I can also look at this as well. Um, and then for me to track my steps, I've got this step tracker. So my goal is to hit 10K steps 80% of the month. Well, in January, I hit 10K steps 39% of the month because it's easy. You just take the number of days you did it, divide it by 31, and there's your, um, there's your, <laughs> there's your answer. I'm a data nerd, friends, in case you were wondering. Um, so anyway, that's kind of like the, the way that, um, my personal rings is serving me in my life. So, you know, if you guys look at this, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. Everything has like a job. Um, I guess for me, like what's not working at the moment is just, I'm trying to do too much in some ways and I need to stop feeling pressured, like number one to fill, fill out this week. So I have to be okay with blank spreads and I have to be okay with, I didn't have time to do this because this is just an extra. Like I don't, plan in this right so I think that's the big thing right is like what do I actually plan in so I actually plan in these two this is in, in my work planners but you know I got a plan at work so with these two you know these are where like actual plans live because I have like monthly planning weekly planning weekly planning monthly planning is it duplication yes absolutely it is and I'm fine with that because I don't take this with me this doesn't go out and about with me because number one, there's so much information in here. Um, and number two, it's heavy and I don't want to carry giant bags. So that's why I've always, and, and it's just a thing that's always worked for me is having, um, is having, you know, planner in my purse and then a notebook. So, and then I love having, you know, this, but again, I don't nest, I don't need this. Like, I'm writing pretty to-do lists and I'm writing about my day. Um, you know, excuse me, my stomach's growling. Uh, so I don't have to have this, but this brings me joy. And I, so I think that's like where, you know, like the, the hobby aspect of planning comes into play. And I think like we always have to address it is like, while like some of these are for productivity and, you know, staying on schedule and making sure you're not missing things. Some of these are just for fun and enjoyment. Like I don't need this. Like, if I didn't have this, I could still plan. And honestly, I mean, you know, if I did away with my personal rings, it would kill me. But I can plan in a moleskin. So, you can buy a planner from Walmart or Target or CVS or Aldi, for that matter, and still plan your life. But it's, you know, what what do you enjoy and what keeps you coming back to it? And for me, it's I love opening my rings. I love this planner. So, gosh, I just got off on a little tangent there, but... That, that's kind of, you know, what my system is, um, at the moment. And, you know, again, I just, as long as I'm enjoying it or it's serving me, I'm going to continue to use it. Um, my big thing is I don't want to spend my entire life planning and not implementing. And so that's where I'm, I've got to find this balance of like, are you planning too much? Or like, you know, like this is purely therapeutic. I mean, yeah, the to-do list helps, honestly. But, you know, I could easily write a to-do list of my personal rings or on a freaking, you know. I can take the sticky note pad that I got from Walmart and write my to-do list on it. So, you know, and I think that's what I have to be willing to accept is there's no pressure here. I'm just, you know, this is a hobby as well. So, you know, contrary to what people may think I think writing is is a hobby and it can be therapeutic and this has been good for me okay so yeah 30 minute long video of me chatting about my system but I don't know I just again sometimes it helps me like to verbally talk about what all I'm using and how I'm using them you know in conjunction with one another and how they support one another and and all of that um <clears throat> and it's enjoyable to me so anyway I guess if you guys have any questions, comment those down below. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed like my rambling and, <laughs> and all that fun stuff. 
Um, but if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye, friends.